Hi, in this video I want to show you a plugin for GIMP. I think it's called GMIC, but I'm not sure how it's pronounced, so if I'm making a mistake, I apologize. Now, first thing I want to tell you that I'm going to include the link in the description where you can find this plugin and download it. Uh, downloading and installing it's pretty easy. Then you just start GIMP and you go to filters and here is the plugin but make sure you have opened an image or started a new project otherwise the uh, option here will be inactive and you won't be able to start the plugin now let's click on the option and start the plugin and the first thing you notice is that the plugin is pretty big you can see here the available filters are 477 right now uh, when I first installed the plugin the available filters were 200 and something and uh, then I used this uh, refresh option here and made sure I have this internet uh, option checked and this upgraded the plugin and uh, downloaded more filters and also some of the filters uh, the options of the filters are also upgraded and improved so make sure you this is the first thing you do after installing this plugin and then I recommend to keep this internet option off when you use it because I think uh, it makes the plugin a little bit faster. It's kind of heavy. Uh, if you have a older computer, applying the filters can take a little bit more time, uh, especially if you work on big images. Another thing you see here that the filters are divided in different categories. And when you click, uh, this will expand and you can see the actual filters. So let's, uh, for example, select this over here and you see we have a preview of how the image is going to look when the filter is applied. Also on the right here we have options for this filter and uh, a little information about the author and when is the latest update and this one is pretty up to date. Unfortunately some of them are not updated since 2010 but still this is a pretty good plugin with a lot of filters and options very useful to have. In this video I'm not going to even attempt to discuss the filters and options because this is going to take hours. In the future I'm going to make tutorials but for now just gonna give you one useful thing and that's this option over here and with this we can save a filter to favorites but not only the filter but the options that we have changed here this will also get saved so if I go ahead and let's say just a little bit the options and then click on this you'll see that this created a new folder faves and we have the filter with the options that I just uh, adjusted and this can be very useful because uh, as you can see there are almost 500 filters and the ability to save the filters that you like with the settings that you want is very very useful and of course if you don't want this uh, filter in favorites anymore you can just click on this option and remove it another thing here this option will expand all the categories or you can just click it one more time and this will collapse them so this was just a quick overview video about this gimmick plugin i'm going to make tutorials in the future but for now just go ahead download it install it and start exploring also there are tutorials here on youtube about it you can do a search and watch some tutorials to learn how to use it so that's it for this video i hope that it was useful if it was subscribe like the video that's it for now bye